Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I will be showing you guys how you can complete and unlock the social distancing dark ops challenge in Cold War Zombies. So guys, this will actually be the third time I've made this video and that's basically due to the fact that the methods that I've been showing you guys keep getting patched. Now the one I'm going to be showing you guys today is 100% working as of the time of upload. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether or not this is going to be patched soon or not, so if I were you and you still need this challenge completed, I would go ahead and use this method, let me know how it turns out, and get that calling card before it's too late. So basically, all you guys want to do to start is load into a game of Dime Machine using the Gallo Shotgun as well as the Energy Mines upgraded to Tier 3. We're going to need that for later on in the video. Now, for the first couple of rounds, you're going to want to just try to speed through it as best you can. Uh, basically, you're going to want to play till around round 7 or 8. Basically, you want to have like 10 to 15,000 points. So a couple of tips when you're in the spawn room there is either um, kind of play in the corner like you can see I'm doing here. Um, that way you can see all the zombies coming at you, kill them before they hit you. Or what you can do if it gets a little trickier in the higher rounds, round 7 or whatever, you can train the zombies, just make sure you don't get hit. And basically, once you guys are good to go, so basically around 7 or 8, and once you have enough points, you're going to want to start opening the doors to um, the particle accelerator and turn power on. Now, on your way down to do this, make sure you do not open the door towards the med bay. This is going to be crucial for later on. So basically, make your way down, uh, do everything you need to do to turn on power, and then once power is turned on, you're going to want to activate the anomaly and uh, go and get the pack punch part. Once pack punch is built, you guys are going to want to pack a punch your gallo, add an ammo mod if you have enough points, and then make your way over to the armor station, and you're going to actually just upgrade your weapon. From here, make your way to the med bay, and I recommend buying speed cola if you have enough points at this point still. Um, I actually didn't really save up enough points just to get this video out uh, quickly. But basically, once you're in here, climb up into this spot here. And basically, once you're in this spot, the zombies will not hit you. So they'll climb up onto the um, tank here. But they're not actually going to hit you if you kill them fast enough. So that's why we're using the Gallo Shotgun. It's a one-hit kill, pretty much. And we're also going to be using the Energy Mines and that's actually going to help out a lot so basically how you guys are going to be doing this is you're going to be using the unlimited energy mines glitch so once you have um, two energy mines filled up so once you guys have two energy mine blasts um, built up you're going to use one and then to replenish it the second blast needs to get a kill or you just need to get a kill with your gun so you're going to keep on doing this rinse and repeat use an energy mine um, let it get a kill with the second blast or get a kill with your weapon and then just rinse and repeat rinse and repeat now for the dog rounds basically what's going to happen is the dogs are only going to run in from one way uh, as you guys can see here and basically you're just going to shoot them as soon as they come in make sure the gas is as far away from you as possible and i do believe once it's the first dog round you can actually go and get that max ammo but anytime after that do not leave the spot once you guys jump down from the tank there, um, there's a Megaton waiting to come into the map. He hides out um, in the one little window area. Um, so he's not actually visible when you're in the spot, but as soon as your feet touch the floor, he will come after you. So don't try to get down, get a power up. Don't try to buy speed cola later. Don't try to do any of that. Just stay in the spot until it's round 20, until you get your calling card. And that's gonna ensure that you guys actually do go ahead and get this calling card. So pretty much, um, just keep playing, uh, use your energy mines, and make it to round 20 without getting hit. I'm not actually going to be showing you guys me personally getting this completed. However, multiple sources have confirmed this, and I know it is 100% working. Um, I was actually able to go ahead and get my calling card by using the tunnel um, glitch spot for the unlimited C4. And I used the same method with the energy mines, and I used tomahawks in that spot. Um, unfortunately, they did patch that, so this new method is going to be able to help you guys go ahead and get the Dark Ops challenge completed and get your social distancing calling card. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was in any way, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below how it went. Thank you guys so much for watching.
Peace.